Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have another Aaron here on my cask. It's a whiskey.de exclusive bottling, so unfortunately not available worldwide. It's priced in the mid 50s, 46% ABV, unchill filtered, uncolored, and it's a rum cask finish. So this bottle looks a little bit different because it's a little bit raw straw, yellow, uh, light golden. Um, and that is due to those ex rum casks from the Caribbean. And uh, well, you all know that I'm not a really a friend of, of rum. No, I'm a whiskey guy. And uh, the rum is not always suitable for my taste. So um, if I'm saying something not that uh, uh, <laughs> uh, celebrating that bottle that might be due to my uh, lack of acceptance of rum. But there are several whiskies out there with a rum cask finish which I like. So this depends very much on how strong the rum cask is and oh, if the rum has that taste that I do not like. <laughs> to be very careful. Yeah, so here we go. It's 10 years of age. So that's quite an age, uh, quite normal for Aaron. But Aaron typically has these uh, finishing bottles with 50% ABV and uh, with extreme sherry notes, dark colors. So this rum cask is different. And even if they have a finishing uh, of three years, that's quite a long finishing period for a whiskey. Typically you have six to, to 12 months. So this is quite long. Um, yeah. Um, the color transferred into the whiskey isn't that uh, intense. So there might be uh, a refill rum cask or it might be a light a white rum. There had been rums out on the market. Uh, uh, they were called white rum uh, matured in, in oak casks. <laughs> Whatever that means, because you need to mature in oak casks to transfer a white rum to a brown one. Yeah. So here we have a quite light rum, I think. So we have a Typical Aaron note, that's a Highland malt note with a maltiness and some fruitiness, the distillery character, of course, and then a vanilla note on top of that. And the rum note is, well, quite decent. So probably that's a rum finish I like. As I said, this is whiskey.de exclusive. You're only able um, to get that uh, in Central Europe, especially in Germany. But I think there will be more uh, individual casts out in, in the world, probably also on the shelves uh, at your dealer. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Juicy, friendly on the tongue, and then just after swallowing, there is this rum taste. There is some citrus note in between intermingling. The rum note is not too heavy. This is <laughs> acceptable for me and gives the whiskey just the, the right, right uh, complexity that it's more um, than a normal Highland malt. Mm-hmm. This is, if I remember right, the first rum cask finish which I've seen from Aaron. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.